Okay, um, hopefully it's, it's visible. There's a lot of glare, and GoPros aren't particularly good at, at close up things, but um, anyway, very quick video about Asus Q installer. If you've got a motherboard where this is enabled automatically, uh, this one is a Z390P, so I think the Z390 motherboards have this enabled, bizarrely. Uh, as soon as you load Windows, you'll get a pop up that says, uh, do you want to accept the license agreement? And if you click cancel, it still loads uh, in the system tray. Uh, it also delays uh, restarts because it hangs and waits for you to respond before Windows actually resets itself. So if you then think, oh, I know what I'll do, I'll just agree with it. So you agree with it and install it, then you get this. Uh, download and install Asus Q installer automatically. At some point, Asus had these as uh, obviously the server it's trying to connect to was uh, working. Um, since then, they've either moved it or shut it down or done something because it tries to connect to the server and can't. So you end up with this every single time you boot. And you might think, uh, is it a startup program? So you look at the startup programs and it isn't because um, it's in the BIOS, as we'll see. And then you think, OK, well, maybe if I find out what's running, close it and go and find that and delete that, it'll be fine. It's not because it just reappears again. So uh, this is actually how you get rid of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart this machine and then we'll go into the BIOS and we'll fix this problem. So I'm going to click restart. Now, uh, the restart will be delayed while it uh, closes that program because it's hanging waiting for a response from the server that it's not going to get. So uh, that's quite annoying. Um, it's still quite annoying. Yeah. Finally. So I'm tapping the delete key and we'll get into the BIOS and we'll sort this. So there's the BIOS and at the top there's a option for tool which you can't see because the camera's in the wrong place and you click that and you can see there's Asus Q installer is is listed so you click that and it says Asus Q installer enabled flip that to disabled and then exit and save changes and reset so essentially you're turning off in the BIOS. For some reason, Asus had that as its, well, the default setting for that was enabled, which is incredibly annoying. Um, it would be annoying even if the server was there, because um, obviously the, the drivers and things are, are fine. There's no need to update them every two minutes if it's working. So uh, let's put the pin in. And we'll get to the desktop. Um, this is the machine, it's completely silent. That whirring is the mechanical hard drive. Everything else is completely passive and silent. So that's the desktop. We'll just wait for um, a couple of other things to load before we do a tidy up for it. So QFAN is now disabled. So what we need to do is go and find the files just as a last minute tidy up. So if you open uh, file Explorer and then go to um, Windows and System 32, because that's where it lives, System 32, and you can scroll down. It's Asus, so it's right at the top of where the files start. And let's see where it is. Uh, L -O -P -Q -R -A. Yes, Asus, Asus Download Agent, found it there. So you can see, well, you can't see because the camera's in the wrong place again. I'll lower it down so you can see the two files. So hopefully that's, that's legible. So you've got Asus Download Agent, Asus Download License.exe, and Asus Update Check. Those are the files that you want to delete. So I'll hit Control and I'll select all those and I'll delete those. If you delete them with when it's enabled in the BIOS still, they just come back. But this is just a little tidy up. So we have to um, provide administrator permissions, which of course is fine because we're administrator and that deletes it. 
So now when we restart, it should um, be an awful lot faster because we have uh, no hanging programs. And there we are. So with um, with Q Installer, some other boards it was it wasn't enabled. Some other boards it was. Maybe the Z391s all have it enabled, but that's a very quick way to get rid of it. That will save you hours of of messing about. Um, if it's of any use to you, um, like uh, uh, like and subscribe would also be quite nice as well. It'd be very helpful. Any comments? Any questions? Stick them in the comments. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.